This is the Lotus Emira, an all new sports car from the Handling Wizards at Hethel and the replacement for the legendary Elise. It has looks inspired by the all electric Avaya hypercar, uses AMG power, can be bought with a manual, automatic or double clutch gearbox. And it isn't just built on a new kind of bonded aluminium chassis, but constructed in an entirely new factory. It's also the last Lotus road car to be powered by an internal combustion engine and it'll arrive on our roads in 2022. It's exciting, isn't it? When Lotus launched the original Elise at the Frankfurt Motor Show in 1995, few would have guessed that 26 years later, it would still be in production. So for Lotus to have called time on the Elise, to have invested in something entirely new, it's a truly big moment. It looks cracking. You can so clearly see that it's a sibling of the Avai in ways that you can't see with the Elise, the Exige, and the Evora. You even get the new Lotus badge. But a Lotus has always been about the driving. So let's dive into the details. First of all, the engine. The Amira is powered by a two litre twin turbo four cylinder engine from AMG. It's the same engine you'll find in the Mercedes AMG A45, albeit with a new intake and a new exhaust. In the Mercedes, you're looking at 421 horsepower, but Lotus hasn't given away the exact numbers for the Amira just yet, but it's promising between 360 and 400. Maximum torque, 430 newton meters, naught to 62 miles an hour, less than 4.5 seconds, and a top speed of 180 miles an hour. But there is a twist in the tail because you can also have an Amira with a different engine. Amira first editions, the first Amiras that will be sold, will come with a V6, the same three and a half litre V6 you find in the Exige and the Evora. One final hurrah for that loud, shouty V6. The chassis remains bonded aluminium, but rest assured, it is entirely new. It's built at Lotus Advanced Structures, a new facility in Norwich, before coming down the road to Hethel, where the rest of the car is assembled around it. When you look at the details, it's clear to see that this is a very different machine compared to the Elise. The Amira is 266 millimeters wider, as well as 588 millimeters longer and 108 millimeters taller. The wheelbase has grown by 275 millimeters too. There's no exact technical specification yet for things like the brakes or the suspension. But if you go to order one, you will have a choice to make. And that'll be whether or not to go for the Lotus driver's pack. Tick that box and you have to decide whether you want the stiffer suspension setup, known as Sport, or the softer setup, known as Tour. You also have to figure out whether you want the standard Goodyear Eagle F1 Supersport tires or the Michelin Pilot Sport 2s. The steering, it's power assisted, but it's hydraulic, not electric, so you don't need to panic. And as for the gearbox, you can either have a six-speed manual, the same lovely exposed six-speed manual you get in Exige and the Elise, or you can have a six-speed automatic, the same automatic you find in the Evora. As for the dual clutch, it's an AMG dual clutch. Now, Lotus hasn't said exactly which gearbox will be available with which engine, but it stands to reason that the manual and the auto will go with the V6. The dual clutch will go with the AMG engine. Now, I think it's time we look inside, don't you? Honestly, this is night and day different to the Elise, the Exige, and even the Evora. I can't stress that enough. Lotus has said that it has tried to push the interior quality and you can feel that straight away. You've got a drive mode selector down here. You've got a physical volume control. You've got buttons and dials for the air conditioning. You've got not just a 12.3 inch TFT display, driver display up ahead in front of the steering wheel, but a 10 and a quarter inch central touchscreen as well. And it actually looks 
like it belongs there. In the Avora, it, it doesn't quite fit somehow, but in here, everything just blends. It feels right. It feels like it's been designed from the beginning to have a screen and these buttons. It feels, just feels a step on. As well as the screens, you get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, keyless go, cruise control, rain sensing wipers, electric folding mirrors and rear parking sensors. Adaptive cruise control is optional, as is launch control if you go for the Lotus Drivers Pack. Other new features include fatigue alert, an anti-collision system, lane departure warning and rear cross traffic alert. All things that were simply impossible to integrate into the Amira's predecessors. Honestly, I think I'll miss having physical dials, but in reality, it gives you the opportunity to see so much more information. There are little details as well that I really like, like the red cover for the starter button. There's a USB down here, but there's also another USB in here and the USB-C in a Lotus. And just having easy access to a USB port is so, so nice because in an Elise, it's a real faff to get to. And there are cup holders. There's space for water bottles in the door bins. There's a place to put your phone. On storage space alone, this is a step on from the Lees and Aurora. Finally, weight. Lotus has always been about making things as light as possible, whether that's on the road or the track. You can see that in the Elise S1, that weighed 690 kilos. Even the Elise Final Edition only weighed 922 kilos. The Amira, in its lightest form, will weigh 1,405 kilos. So that's essentially two Elise S1s. But it's still not massively heavy. A base Porsche 911 Carrera is 1,500 kilos. The AMG A45 is 1,550 kilos. Even the Avora, that only weighs 44 kilos less than the Amira. And I can tell you, there's a lot more than 44 kilos worth of kit on the Amira compared to the Avora. What will really matter is whether or not this feels like a Lotus. And to find that out, you've got to drive it. So for the time being, what do you think? Is the Amira what you'd hoped for? Does it live up to expectations of an Elise successor? Or is it completely not what you're hoping for at all? Let us know in the comments below.